I sent myself something uh, back in time from like another run that I did. So, take and give, receive, defend from my past future self and store a card. Okay, well, I'll gonna put the injury in there. Oh, I shouldn't do that to myself. Oh, no, apparently I did by trying to scroll up the page. Um, whoops. Some more of these plague and mushroom rats that are absolutely gross. I don't have any blocks, so I guess we will spot the weakness of this guy. And then uh, give him a bit of a bashing. Couple of defense, so I don't die. Maybe add some more strength to my guy. Let's dual wield. Oh, I was going to say dual wield infernal blades, but it's not an attack yet. So I should have done dual wield after I'd used infernal blade. That was my mistake. Let's kill off that guy anyway. Almost killed him in one go. Um, hmm. Let's try and go for some more blood for bloods. If I even live that long. Oh, I can go anywhere with my winged boots. Let's, uh, let's be alive. Let's see what this question mark's all about. He was a thief. That's not a good question mark at all. So, Infernal Blade. And then Dual Wield. Searing Blows. There we go. Full graphic. Um... that be 16 damage not enough to kill him so let's defend one and smack him a little bit boom snack oil draw five cards randomize the cost of the cards in your hand Mm. Crazy snake oil. Power through. Add two wounds into your hands and gain 15 block. Ouch. Lose two HP and deal 15 damage. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain a strength. Hmm. Yeah, go on. We should probably rest up before a boss. So there we go. I wasted tons of my movements on, on resting. So we didn't get advanced, which is a bit of a shame. The Infernal Blade grants me cleave. You like damage to all enemies. Okay, let's go with a crazy transmutation um, from our potion. Add X, so three random colorless cards into your hand, and they cost zero for this turn, and then exhaust this. We got the secret weapon. Put an attack from your draw pile into your hand and exhaust. 
Finesse, gain 2 block and draw a card. And the Hand of Greed, deal 20 damage if Fatal, gain 20 gold. It's only going to take 10 more damage to mode shift this guy away from this 32 damage, so that's cool. Let's gain 2 block and draw a card. Use the hand of greed on him. And then the secret weapon will give us a blood for blood. Fine. Can't use it though, don't have enough energy. So start gaining some strength. And block what's coming in. We do want to get on the assault though. It's going to ruin us a bit with the retaliation, but we got a kill to win. Using spot weakness will give us strength because he doesn't tend to attack. And some of what he was doing. I guess at some point we could use Hemokinesis and lose the, the HP and gain the strength through having Rapture on. But we should probably also try the, the Colorless Potion again. Choose a card. Oh lord, none of these are great. Let's um pick up Panesh. I just need to use five cards a turn though, which I don't see me doing. Ow. So we're back on the, the part where we need to deal damage in order to switch his mode. Dual wield cleaves. And just uh, take the damage on the chin. Let's try the Sneko oil, actually. Nice. Hand agreed. Oh, no, 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 no. Double tap the hand of greed. Yeah. Let's do some uh, blood for blood. Defend for free, why not? Okay, that saved us taking a womp. Vanessa, draw one card and gain the two block. We can now use our hemokinesis. Up you go, Mr. Strength. Make sure we're defended as much as we can be before hitting him with that one. Oh wow, the effect of the Snack Oil has just permanently made this like a really expensive strike. Let's spot his weakness, gain that strength. Use a bit of uh, finesse, gain a free block. The hemokinesis to gain some more strength. Fifteen damage twice. What a crazy twin strike now with all this strength. Yeah. Liquid memories. Choose a card in your discard pile and return it to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Cool. And a gold card. <laughs> 